Be the alpha moonlight and stare at the sky. What a time, what a time, what a time. You looked my body clean, like you were now. What a lie, what a lie, what a lie. Hello, Pisces. This is your reading for August of this current year. Yay. Pisces and cross watchers, this is for the sign and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if this resonates with you. Yay! If not, you just boop your nose where it goes. No point where about you think. I'm nothing to do with you. It ain't none of your damn business, okay? Okay. Okay. I've been singing that song all day, Pisces, and I was going to do your reading first. Happy August! Having Leo season. Oh, you also had a bonus card coming out. The Six of Bows, Abundance. Usually victory. So it seems like you got ample amounts. Like, look, you got a bunch of stuff everywhere. But I'm not sure if it's what I think it is. So let's see. Um, you guys are last in the month, and I'm trying to hurry, and I'm doing the four way cards, so I will probably end up doing new water signs first. Next month, right? Right. Pisces and cross watchers, we got the savage here. Respect. Nine of bows. With the handle. Something to do with childhood. I feel like this dude's on the hunt for something from back in the day, like a toy or something, right? Like desperate action. We're gonna respect the fact that I put this arrow through your neck, motherfucker. We got is a page of stones, the links. Capricorn Toys Virgo in photos. You might have memories with this person, but it doesn't seem like they're coming down the tree. They're like a cat that got stuck in the tree, but they refuse to come down. Uh, we have the shaman with the scissors, which is also a magician. Like, either he's cutting somebody out, or he's getting cut out. And then we have the nine of arrows reversed. There is no dedication here, because there's not an ant that's strong enough to carry 50 times its weight. Um, not much of a worker. Something isn't working here, right? Oh, sorry. My bad. Oh. Uh -oh. There we go. I was feeling shit. <laughs> Alright, so, Pisces and Cross Watchers. Let's see what comes up in the cards. I heard that um, somebody hates it when someone doesn't straighten out their decks. Or what's that called? Um, palm? Or, it's something, it's where, like, you, you don't leave it all crooked and shit, it's where you fix it. I can't remember what the word is. I know the word. I just can't remember. It was on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, the Nine of Bows, respect with the handle. Something didn't work. None of these formulas came together, Pisces and Cross Watchers. And a door got closed, or someone separated from another person could have been with a Gemini, right? And now it seems like uh, disaster is just stuck. Like, there isn't anything that changes. It's just a whirlwind of chaos and nuttiness, right? Alright, page of stones reverse with the photos. This kitty is not coming down the tree. It's like stuck and all you got is pictures now. Ugh. Someone's stuck in their head. Eight of swords. They don't know what to do or what choices to make. And I think they're wanting to go and get something from someone in the past or give them something or whatnot. Something about the past or a connection from the past, right? This dude... Okay, this dude just creeps me out. Because number one, he looks stoned as fuck, right? Number two, he he's blushing a lot. You know, like that, like the kind of like 
I feel like it's an older person with a younger person. This is just like, ugh, I don't know, that, that one kind of creeps me out a little bit here. Like, why are you blushing so hard, bro? Um, the shaman with the scissors? I feel like an older person might have feelings for a younger person. Maybe it's not like that drastic. Maybe you're like in your 40s and you meet someone in their 30s. Like, let's be clean here. Alright, the shaman with the scissors, either someone cutting them out or he's cutting something out. You know? Meditating by the fire. Chilling and thinking inside your head with a hermit. Maybe with a Virgo? Maybe they've meditated over this? No, they want to stick around though. They don't, they aren't ready to escape just yet. They aren't ready to leave. Because something went awry. What is this? What is this, Pisces and Cross Watchers? What is this? Why is this here? Someone wants to stick around even after, like, your shitty, like, plot went awry, it seems like. I'm dropping one more. But what is this abundance? That makes no sense. What's abundant here? Someone like to ran her mouth, didn't listen, did shit impulsively, refuses to heed the path of this cat that's leading him. Like, that's his cat, but he's just looking at it like, I'm gonna go the other way, bitch. You do whatever the fuck you want. I don't like you. Go on, get, you know? Hmm. This is an odd one, Pisces and Crosswatcher. Are you dating someone younger than you and, like, there's something wrong here? Nine of Arrows Dedication and the Ant. So someone will cut the cord. Someone's refusing to, actually. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. Because <clears throat> it feels like they lost their favorite hat and the world is doomed. Mm. Well, they're dramatic. But they want to work on something. They want to communicate, like, emulate, if you will. Create plans with people. Hmm. I feel like a partnership? Like they lost a partnership? But they're refusing to let that shit go? Like they're stuck or something. Hmm. Poor people. Anyway. Hmm. All right, Pisces and Cross Watchers. Let's clarify. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Eight. Sorry about that. My mom decided to call me to let me know my cat was outside of my door, which is fair because I can't hear Dick or his fan. But I lost the cards. I was about to pull, them, so and I can't. There we go. The art is still on top. No, they're still on top. Hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. This is a cross watcher. Love could be being offered, and it just keeps smacking you in the fucking face. There could be love here being offered, but your back's to it because you're too busy, like, um, slapping yourself in the face with your emotions. Your own emotions, not this cup. That's the second cup. That would make the two cups if you pay attention. It's leading you into a trap. Or it's leading this person into a trap. I feel like you're stuck on something or someone. 
Maybe that's what that abundance is. Maybe you just have an abundance of emotion. Like you really want. Hmm. Yeah. I got you, man. I got you. Uh, <clears throat> it doesn't feel very balanced, does it? No. I agree it's not. Alright. Whew, it's hot back here. Okay, Eight of Swords, <clears throat> Two of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Stuck in your head because you can't make a decision with this person from the past? Uh, I don't know who this is, but someone's crushing somebody. Someone's got someone in the palm of their hand and are crushing them. Someone's just got to look at that emotionally and be like, ah, oh, it's just a fish, right? Could be you, Pisces, that they're doing that. Well, no, this is a counterpart. Actually, because King of Cups is over here. And now the Queen of Cups is over here. Like, she's looking at this stuff in a more controlled way than the King of Cups is. I can't tell if this person's angry, but, like, it's kind of like, um, they're switching. It goes from angry and wanting to crush the lizard to it becoming a fish and this person handling it with care. This could be your counterpart. Oops. <clears throat> you might be all sad that they walked, that they walked away to a new journey. Hmm. Or that could be you going somewhere else. You don't want to be single. That's sad. That's sad. You really love this person. I know. Ugh. Motherfucker. <clears throat> I don't know. Have you ever known someone who can love a person so much that they could suffocate the life out of them? Alright. The Hermit. Six of Swords reverse. Five of Swords reverse. Page of Wands reverse. No. You can stay in here for a minute longer. Ugh. Maybe the cat's leaving this dude behind. He's just like being like, all right, whatever. Like he's not making any moves towards it that isn't just a curse of the fuck out or kick it. And someone's meditating on how to stick around in a situation where they kind of manipulated things. That's why it didn't work out. And the swords dropped back on someone's heart. Probably yours, Pisces. Something might have happened where it all got fucked up. Oops. You want to hug your lion, but they're not coming back home. Because people can agree to disagree that someone feels that another person needs to be worked on. And this causes someone to drop the swords and be like, you know what, fuck it, I'll carry my own swords, right? That might not have been the truth of the matter because, like, you know, there was a love situation here. The truth of the matter is, there was love. There was. I don't know about now. Well, I don't know. I think it's still there. I think the love's still there. But, you know... I don't know. Maybe if someone feels a little suffocated. Possibly. On what made them happy. But there's always one motherfucker who's never happy. <laughs> Even if you're surrounded in good times, you'll still be thinking of this person who walked away and got on the boat. It seems like. Like you'll never forget them or they'll never forget you. Alright. Last row, the death card, reverse, the world reverse, and the three of pentacles. Someone's enclosing a door and feeling like they lost their world. 
I'm trying to work everything out. Or try to work, collaborate with another person. <laughs> Who is looking at someone like they need work? Like, there's something wrong with them. I don't like that. I, I don't like... I don't... It's like the details. It's always the details. Someone's always looking at someone like they need work. Or there's something that could be improved. And that person who is looking at that statue, you know, like, they should have listened to him, but they didn't, and they might live to regret it. They might even verbalize it. So possibly the Queen of Wands, once again, another counterpart. And she's listening. She's listening. She hears every word they say. She just doesn't care. She's got shit to do, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, she's hardly seen her shit, man. Mm. What are you doing? No. Yeah. You literally got my mom putting your up my thing. My shit. Hold on, y'all. I must release the facts. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw one more on her too. Yeah, fuck it. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Or two. Someone's all in their feelings because somebody was chosen. They don't take very well. They act like a brat. They let let things spill out. And then possibly gets left behind because this person gets chosen. Hmm. What a time, what a time, what a time. That song keeps coming up for you. Hmm. Pheasant feather? Don't know what the fuck that means. Don't people eat pheasants? The liar reverse. And the razor blade. Hmm. I suspect with this pheasant though. It's number 14. Hunting. What? Hunting? Hunting, not a liar. What's the reason for like 12? Obolescence. What the fuck does that mean? Obol... Ob... Solences. I just want to say, I think it's gonna cut a motherfucker. Uh, ooh. Ooh! What? Wait! Hold up! Stop the car! Stop the Pull over to the side of the road, hit your brakes, put it in park, turn the fucking engine off, right? Um, somebody is hunting somebody who is not a liar just to cut them? Is that really what I'm... I, 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 is that what I am? Because I don't know what that fucking word means. I just know it's a razor and it's, and it's all chipped. And rusty, and probably really like dull, so it makes it even more painful, right? Probably getting an infection from that shit too while you're at it. Hmm. Why am I Pisces? Yours just got super fucking dramatic. Kind of scary. Anyway, that's your fucking reading for August. If you like this, please like, share, subscribe, and that's too if you don't want to, but I would appreciate it. But it's up to you, ultimately. I love your guys' faces. Please be good. Blah, 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 blah. Love you, peace. Goodbye.